Not a lot of helicopters out, man. Police, three news helicopters. I don't know what's going on, though. There's a lot of them. Look at all the news. State police. Alright, something big is going on. City of Elmhurst. What's going on? Somebody uh, roaming around that like they're not supposed to. Like an escapee? I heard that over the radio. I didn't believe it though. Like an escaped inmate? Yeah. We just confirmed that there's an escaped inmate running around in the Mini Monday Park. Yeah, for there to be this many jurisdictions here, you know something big's going on. No. Does he look like he's in black and whites like a real prisoner? <laughs> oh, okay. Right. You got. You guys be careful. <laughs> Dreadhead dude with no shirt. That's fucking crazy. Never a dull moment in Chicago, man. Man, I'm sure that cop just feels like, uh, I don't even know what. Somebody got out of your car on the highway and ran. Looks like they're all at the hospital now. third gear man you don't even gotta pop the clutch on this damn thing come back drop back scrape why not why wouldn't we scrape it lighten the mood a little bit all these helicopters are starting to scare me but right now I know it's really early on all we really know is that somebody an inmate was getting transported somewhere out in Cook County uh, going out to the county of DuPage by the city of Elmhurst down 290 West which is the interstate right here and at some point that guy unlocked himself and was able to come off the freeway here and basically come down into this park definitely a large police presence here in the park today a lot of cops flew over to Loretto Hospital from the report that somebody had just come in with no shirt on and uh, I'm gonna take a guess that it wasn't actually him because there's still cops flying around everywhere. When the prisoner in the back seat uh, kicked out the back window of the marked police car and exited out the window, window and ran northbound from the scene, uh, that northbound direction uh, led the prisoner directly to this golf course. Uh, to the south tree line. This golf course is Columbus Park Golf Course over in the South Austin neighborhood. And there's reason to believe he's still in that area. You heard officers saying there's concern that they're looking not only on that course, but in the neighborhood. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you guys see anybody running around here? Oh, you guys work? Oh, we've met before. Yeah, we've met before. We were like the little mini bike guys that come over here on Mondays. Yeah, they're about to have an interesting day. <laughs> um, he has a neck tattoo, face tattoo. He should be cuffed. A white, know. white dude, black dude. Like, he is, it's black, but he's like white. I'm oh, sorry, light skin. Uh, light skin with face tattoos and dreads. Face tattoos, uh, neck tattoo, neck tattoo. Uh, uh, so that giveaway would be the cuffs. <laughs> uh, I saw you guys all flying over to the hospital. You guys thought he was in there or something? That's terrifying. Be safe, guys. Thank you. Yeah.
Now that's how you know the big dogs are here, people. Loretto Hospital is definitely a pretty storied hospital here. One of the oldest hospitals in all of Chicago. Um, it's affiliated with this Greek Orthodox Church right across the street. And uh, Columbus Park is one of the West Side's oldest parks as well. Columbus, Garfield, and Douglas are all like the old West Side parks. I could not think of a better place for him to get out and hide though. Once you get into these neighborhoods here, um, there's really a, quite a few abandoned houses. It's really kind of a, a maze. The alleys are... Everything's just kind of in disrepair and there's quite a few open houses. Now if this is anything like the military, which I know the police do operate a lot like it, they'll start widening their cordon zones here and keep, you know, looking farther and farther away from the last place it was seen, which was by the golf course off of the E-Way. So soon, I guarantee you they're going to be looking in the neighborhoods. Those trucks are actually uh, state or Chicago SWAT teams. Those F-250s with the covered backs. We're on Austin Boulevard right now, which is the street that actually separates the city of Chicago from the suburb of Oak Park. More just uh, totally civilian looking cars. That GMC, what is that? GMC, just a plain GMC with lights all over it driving down the, driving down the road there. City of Elmhurst, Sheriff's Police, U.S. Marshals. They got the Marshals out here, man. Now these are the type of roads that this supermodel was made for. Ah! Just more plain civilian cars that you would think are civilian cars, but they're actually federal or state agents. Did they find him yet? If, if he got across the street uh, at Central, he might be in any one of those abandoned houses. Sounds like Elmer's just following it. Right. Well, they're from a whole nother county, right? That's crazy. <laughs> That's some shit out of a movie. Enjoy your lunch. <laughs> you heard it from them, boys. CPD is calling it. They're calling it off. Elmer's doesn't want any help. And that is that, as they would like to say. I would be really, really, really surprised if he's still in this park hiding. Um, something tells me that he's gone out into the neighborhoods, probably where he's familiar with and uh, got out of there. He's probably in an abandoned garage, an abandoned house. That would be my guess. All right, guys, no, it wasn't a typical vlog. I was going to go out and run my suck about something else, but I guess I'll have to leave that for another time. Hopefully, I catch that dude. Personally, I think he's already gone, though, but it's literally right across the street from my shop, so. If you guys are ever in Chicago or need tires, parts, brake pads, helmets, whatever, let us know. Misguided Motorsports will get you taken care of. No guarantee that a prisoner is not hiding in the back, though. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to press like. And if you guys want to see more real, true, happening crime here in Chicago, uh, make sure to leave it down in the comments below. I really do appreciate you guys. I don't have as much gas as the helicopters, but I will try to keep us updated. Here's your least favorite motor vlogger, Brian Six or Six, signing out. Peace.